About an hour ago, Google introduced a new $200 router called the OnHub. It's designed for the Internet of Things era. It features automatic configuration and device prioritization. Google says OnHub will make sure home automation products like security cameras, smart thermostats, and smart toasters will have IP when they need it without having to compete blindly with other devices. The OnHub will be managed from a smartphone app, which will be available on Android and iOS. Unexpectedly, OnHub will remain part of the Google division, the subsidiary, after the alphabet split, rather than existing within Nest. Google is working with China based with a China-based company called TP-Link to make the device. In other words, TP-Link will make the device. OnHub pre-orders begin this <laughs> week with product shipping at some unspecified date in the future. Joe Panettiere, what the heck? They come out with a home, the you know, an Internet of Things product that's hardware, and they don't put it in the Internet of Things division. Yeah, you know what? And I think this could still be a great development. No matter where they seat this at the Google table, here's a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, don't forget Cisco took a crack at this market with Linksys a few years ago yeah. in terms of low-end routers and, and sold off the business because they couldn't figure out how to really make a run out of it. What, what's also been interesting are there, there's a lot of startups out there, Mike. Google isn't the only one uh, focused in this area. There's a startup that a lot of our listeners probably don't know yet. They're called Datto. They're working on a small business router set to revolutionize that market in the September timeframe. So it's great to see revolutionary innovation coming to both the home market and the small business because it's a stagnant market right now. Yeah, it certainly is. And you mentioned that uh, Cisco uh, got out of that business and couldn't figure out how to make it profitable. Google makes it profitable by making people use the internet more. Right. And uh, that is always behind a lot of their more mysterious moves. Anything that gets people to use the internet more, use google.com more, use all of their advertising supported features and services is good for Google's bottom line. So that's really what this is about. They're they're going through the whole uh, chain and eliminating bottlenecks. So good for them. I'm looking forward to checking this out. I'm sure we'll review this on Before You Buy here on the Twit Network.